NASA astronauts home from a historic mission this weekend. It really depends on the weather, though. Yeah, Hurricane Isaias is heading towards Florida, and it will be causing some high winds and waves at all the possible landing sites. Yeah, Robert Benkin and Douglas Hurley are the first astronauts to travel into orbit aboard a commercially developed spacecraft. The pair has been on board the International Space Station for two months. After launching in the SpaceX Crew Dragon from Kennedy Space Center in Florida, it was the first crewed mission to take off from U.S. soil in nearly a decade. Splashdown is set for Sunday afternoon, and NASA plans to move forward, but teams will continue monitoring the weather before undocking tonight. Tomorrow's going to be really rough in Florida. Uh, the brunt of that storm is going to be passing by there tomorrow, mm. and the waves are going to be pretty high, not only today, but probably even into Monday as well. Mike, there is an app that you can download for your smartphone, mm -hmm. and what it does, it tracks where the International Space Station is. Yeah. And the other night I went outside at about 9.13, you look up and sure enough, the ice uh, ISS just went streaking across the sky for about two minutes. It was amazing to see. Did you wave? I did. Do, I they, said, do they wave back? I said, don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, things are going to start getting uh, pretty nasty down in Florida over the next 24 hours. The hurricane right now, Isaias, is 85 mile an hour winds. This is category one. So we to the northwest at 12. Here's the east coast of Florida. And this is where a lot of the... Uh, kind of space sites are in eastern Florida, Cape Canaveral and whatnot, and they are under a hurricane warning into the day tomorrow. In terms of the forecast track, it's going to go through the rest of the Bahamas today and then either be right near the coast or right into the coast of Florida during the day tomorrow as a Category 1 hurricane. It'll go back out over the Atlantic. It'll decrease in intensity a little bit, probably to a tropical storm. It's going to be encountering some wind shear. Then it should make a second landfall between about Myrtle Beach and Wilmington, North Carolina. What's left of it will move up throughout parts of central and eastern North Carolina and buzz by our area as we go into later on Tuesday. In terms of the spread of computer models, there's still a big of a range, especially either keeping the storm off the coast of Florida or inland. And where it makes a second landfall, that is still a big question mark. There's a lot of factors at play, drop to the west, high pressure to the east, some wind shear and whatnot. So we still have a lot of the details to kind of fine tune. But here's the forecast as we go into the day tomorrow as the center of the storm moves up across eastern Florida with the rain there. It'll then move into the Carolinas. And as we go into Tuesday, here we are at 6 a.m., the rain will increase across the area during Tuesday. But by Tuesday evening and Tuesday night, the system will be moving on out. So we're not looking for a long period of time. It'll be very late Monday into about the first half of the day on Tuesday. For the most part, there is a potential for some gusts over 25 miles an hour in the metro and near over 45 at the coast. Now, this is all contingent upon where the exact track is, so we may need to fine tune this a little bit more in the next couple days. But there's the potential for a couple inches of rain, especially east and southeast of Richmond. But again, it all depends on the exact track. This is how it looks right now. We will talk a lot more about this over the next couple days. A little sun poking through the clouds in the diamond downtown. Our normal high is 89. We should be around that or around 90 today. Sun will set tonight at 817. And even though we finished with the hot July on record, we finished up about an inch and three quarters below normal rainfall wise. And here's the month. We had a handful of days in the 80s. The rest of the month was in the 90s. We've been at 90 or hotter since July 10th. So we put together about 22 days so far straight of 90s. And we may achieve that today if we see enough sun. Clouds a few breaks right now. I've had a few sprinkles. Those have been kind of winding on down. We have some upper 60s to mid 70s now. We're heading up into the mid 80s to around 90 degrees for today. Tomorrow with more sun sunshine and more of a southerly wind. We'll get into the low and mid 90s and then it'll be a little bit cooler as we go into Monday and Tuesday. Some spotty showers around the first part of the day today. Then the chance of thunderstorms will start increasing during the afternoon, especially out by the mountains. But there will be some across central and eastern Virginia and that throw will go up even a little bit more during the evening with the chance of some heavier storms farther north and west. And as those storms come through, there's a marginal risk for most of the area for those storms to be severe with some damaging wind gusts. A better chance that farther north and west but any storm that pops up today or even tomorrow put down some really heavy downpours. Around 90 today, the heat index, if you see enough sun, could get close to 100 today. And the heat index, 100 and 105 tomorrow. The threat of rain goes up late Monday into Tuesday, as do the winds. But notice that after tomorrow, most of the week should be at least a little bit, if not a lot, below 90 degrees. Oh, we will take those 80.